Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Okay, so you have probably seen tutorials for this They Not Like Us design popping up all over social media. There are tons of different ways to do this. There's tons of different tutorials. It's kind of a viral thing going on right now. And I get it, it's a really cool design, okay? But let's take this and let's Let's build on it. Let's take the technique that I'm about to show you and how to create this and let's level that up. Okay, so we don't have to stick with they not like us in a sports mascot. Let's put this into Christmas. Let it snow with a cute snowman, right? And I made that from this clip art. Or we've got this ho 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 with this um, retro cool Santa, which came from this clip art. There are several different things that you can do with this basic type of split, um, split photo or split graphic design. So, you know, you're, you're creative. You can make amazing, unique designs all on your own. You don't need to copy someone else. I'm speaking that over you right now. You are creative. So let me hop in here and show you exactly how I did this. For this one, I took this snowman and I got him from Creative Fabrica where I get all of my graphics from. This set actually has a whole lot of snowmen. Um, they're super cute. And so I just picked this guy here. Um, and then for the Santa, I also got him from Creative Fabrica. This is the Santa design. I will link to both of these. I will also put a link in here for you so that you can get designs from Creative Fabrica for free. You can get your first 10 downloads completely for free. I will leave a link in the description and show you how to do that. Um, or you can sign up for yearly all access for a one-time fee and then you get unlimited downloads of anything you want from Creative Fabrica. Okay, we're gonna do every bit of this inside Canva. A lot of these other tutorials are having you jump into other programs to complete half of this, like make this picture and download this and then come over here and do that. And we don't have to do that. We can do it all in Canva and we can do it in a few very simple steps. I'm gonna get rid of this guy and this guy. Okay, so let me add a page in here after my snowman so that we can work on it. Okay, so here's my blank page. You will notice that the snow part is all glittery. You have to design your letters first. So whatever picture you want to work with, think about how you want the letters to look. Think about what you want it to say. Like for Ho Ho Ho, I have this um, cheetah print and some red in here. But for the snow, I've got some kind of ombre glitter because it really speaks to the let it snow. So think about the design that you're making. Think about what you want that to look like. And then we're going to design, first of all, the graphic that goes in our letter. So for this one, I wanted a blue background. Now this you'll notice is a gradient. It started as a solid color, and then I switched it over to gradient, and I chose the colors that I wanted so just like move this around and then this one would be like a darker of the blue so let's move that around awesome there's that gradient that i just created by moving these two around and switching from solid to gradient you can change your gradient style as well this one switched the lighter to over here this one switched it to down here this one has the lighter in the middle and the darker going out. And this one switched our light to up there. So you can play around with these gradients. You can completely change their colors. We can make this like a pink and a purple gradient. Let's make that pink a brighter pink over here. And we'll make this purple a darker purple. So you, there's a lot that you can do with just this gradient, but I chose the gradient for the background. Let me put the one I had back in there. Okay, and then you can see I've got some 
um, glitter. So I just came into my elements here in Canva and I typed in blue glitter. I think I typed in blue bitter, glitter background. There we go. And I just chose one that I thought was gonna look good. I went over to photos. If you do graphics, you're gonna get um, more individualized glitter elements. But if you come into photos, you're gonna get full on glittery photos. I don't know for sure what I chose. That looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna go with this for now. Okay, so here's the background that I'm working on, right? I've got the um, gradient that I used for the actual background. And then I've got, that looks like the exact same glitter. Maybe not. Then I've got the glitter that I put into the snow. We are stacking this up now. We are going to put in our snowman. I'm going to use the snowman as he is here, but you will notice down here, let me pull in. You'll notice I changed his colors up some. I wanted him to have a little bit darker of a blue so that it matched better with everything that I had going on. I have another tutorial that shows you how to change the colors of existing PNG files. I will link to that. It'll be in the description and there's a little thing up top right now. If you click it, it will take you to that video that shows you how I changed the colors of that PNG file. But for right now, I'm just gonna throw in the one that I have. Okay, so we're all stacked up. We've got our gradient background, we've got our glitter, and we have our snowman. You need to take this snowman and you need to make him pretty small and just stick him on your page somewhere. I will explain why we're doing this once I get into how we're gonna make these letters but for now, just layer your stuff up how you want it. Make your snowman or make your main graphic pretty small and stick them on your page. And then we do have to download this entire page as a PNG. So we'll come to share. We're going to download. We want only page four. So there's page four. Done and download. Okay, we don't need to worry with transparent backgrounds or anything like that. We pretty much need everything that's here. We could do without the gradient, but we do need the snowman and the glitter. Okay, so that is done downloading. Now, we're gonna hop over here into our apps. There are so, so, so many apps in Canva, like it's crazy everything that you can do. Oh look, it's showing a gradient. You could really customize the gradients with that. I've never actually played with that, but it looks like it'd be cool. Okay, the app that we're gonna use is called Font Frame. I just clicked on apps down here and I typed in font and it's giving me Font Frame. So click into this and you'll see kind of what it's doing here. It's got letters filled with a picture. It has a background. Well, we don't want it to say hello world. We want it to say snow. So scroll down here to your text and then type in what you want. So there's S, enter, N, enter, O, enter, W, enter. Actually, I don't need to enter after that. Okay, so that's what snow is shaping up to look like. We need everything to be left aligned. So let's hit our settings and get that left aligned. But for this particular word, that is not a font that is going to work. That's, it's just you want your letters to be more similar in size. So, still over here in the settings, you can play with your fonts. Let's see. I used this one. So now you see the letters are more similarly sized. Okay, we are shaping up, right? We've got our word. We've got a good font picked out but we need to fill it with this picture that we just created. Okay, so remember we downloaded that picture. Let's get that pulled into our project. I'm actually going to delete this and delete that. I'm gonna upload, upload files, head over to my downloads. Wherever you downloaded that picture, 
that's where you're going to grab it from. You're going to pull it back into Canva as the completed photo that you downloaded. It's still loading. It's thinking about it. Okay. So now add that PNG to your design. It is very important that you download that as a PNG and upload it back into Canva because it will not work if you don't. Okay. That is uploaded back into Canva. We hop back over here to the app and it remembered everything we were doing. Okay, images and text. Choose an image. Well, this one is selected and it's what I want to use. So use selected image. Okay, it's starting to fill up, right? Now look, this whole picture is in here. You just can't see all of it because it's only showing you what's in the word. But if I move this around like this, oh, there's the snowman. I can move it all around, right? You're seeing how this is gonna work out. It's really, really awesome. Let's make this image larger, okay? And just move it around some more until we get it where we want it to be. I'm going to take off some of this um, outline that's around the word snow. I'm gonna come back into settings. And that outline thickness was bananas. Let's put that to like maybe eight. What, what does 10 do? Okay, 10, 10 works for me. Okay, now we're gonna move our snowman around a little bit more. Maybe make him a little bit larger back into image and text. I can scale him up a little bit more. Okay, move him right about there. You will play with this and get it absolutely perfect how you want it. Actually, I'm gonna make him smaller because I can't see the glitter if I do that. There we go. Okay, your first try might not be perfect. Let's try this and see how, see how we're doing. So that's what we want. We're going to add to design. Perfect. Now I can get rid of that one that I used to begin with. I can crop out what I don't need of that and I can enlarge it. Yay, look how good it's looking. Let me just crop out some more of what I don't need. Okay, let's grab this snowman, bring him into the design, and then you just play around with your original clip art or original graphic that you used and get it sized just right. That might not be exactly perfect. I will play with it a little bit more. Um, but once you've got it how you think it's going to be, you need to position it to the back. And now you can play with it even more. Like I can tell that's just not quite right, that he's a little bit too big. Okay, that is not perfect, but I'm going to leave it there so I can show you how to finish this up. Okay, here is our snowman, right? We can position him forward and we have our whole snowman. We can position him backwards and he is behind the snow that we just created. While he is selected, use your cropping tool There's the magic. You just crop that out. That's it. That is how every single one of these designs are created. So simple. This one was done the exact same way. I came in here and I got a red background. And then I came into my elements and I wanted cheetah print. And I actually chose a graphic this time so it wouldn't take up the whole page. And you know, I just threw something in there. These are not the ones I actually used. I'm just trying to be quick here. And then I took my Santa and I stuck him on there and I made it small. Threw that on there. And then I downloaded that and went through the same thing I did over here with the app using font frame uploading the picture that I had just created, putting the ho 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 in, playing around with all of the different text options, playing around with image size, and playing around with thickness. And you can even change the outline color. Like on my original design, I did leave it black, or I might've changed it to a darker blue. And then I added that let it. Let me show you how I did that actually. So I've clicked into the open space on my design, typed a T, and let it, oh, I don't want that all caps, hold on. 
and I just played with the fonts. This one happens to be called Riley. I liked it a lot, and there's so many in here. You can play around, choose what you want. Um, let's change it white. And you know, I've rotated it a little bit. But that's really all there is to it, guys. So go back, watch those steps again if you didn't get it the first time. Super, super simple. All right, that's all I've got for you. We'll see you next time.